at this time our topic is uh, shared design for steel beam so before starting the shared design we will revise the strength of material class very briefly in the strength of material class you saw this equation this is shear stress equals bq over ib in strength of material class you saw it here you saw uh, tau most probably yes symbol doesn't matter uh, in steel design we use shear stress as lowercase f y means yield b means the width now what is shear shear force shear force is the lateral force to the beam now if we uh, this equation if you draw it for a uh, w section it will look like this now you you saw this uh, diagram in the strength of material class also now here we make it uh, easier for design so you can see that uh, here my shear stress is very small because my uh, width is so big and then in the wave my shear stress is very high so what we do here uh, inst so we we dis we discard the, this portion we make it uh, a simplified like this a rectangular how do we do it we discard uh, these planes these planes and we consider only the rectangular portion uh, in the web and extend it up to the flesh so we assume this rectangular section uh, takes my share then my shear stress is becomes very uh, simple shear stress become shear force divided by area of the web now this web includes the part of the flange also so this aw is simply a d times tw now d you will find it in your aisc steel design manual tw also so we can find the mm, area of the wave and this shear force will be average now you can see here uh, this shear, shear stress is less than my peak but that is okay we will uh, adopt some safety uh, that will take care of this so if i rearrange this equation it will be like this b equals uh, ab times aw ab is the allowable shear stress uh, aw is the area of the wave now again this is not the area of the exact wave is d times tw now how to de design when you design we multiply both side by a factor of safety or we call uh, strength reduction factor so we will see that in on in next page uh, of your book uh, you can see a uh, pb it is the uh, strength reduction factor typically 0.9 or 0.1 we will discuss about it and then what is 0.6 fy 0.6 if y uh, is your uh, a b that means uh, yield distress uh, yield distress uh, sorry uh, share allowable shear stress or allowable shear strength or yield distress in share whatever you call that is simply the shear strength now shear strength um, you i told you earlier that there is no easy way to measure the shear strength it is very difficult to apply load in share in laboratory so what do we do we assume 60 percent of our yield distress in tension now if y means yield distress in tension you know it from uh, very beginning so we assume 60 percent of f y is our f v that means share strength so uh, you now you know what is the meaning of point a point six f y f y is yield distress for tension we take 60 percent of it as a uh, shear strength then aw you saw it then cb cb something a new coefficient you never saw it it is wave shear coefficient it uh, what it does uh, it is like it is here it takes care of localized buckling of the wave that means if your wave uh, buckles locally then uh, we need to take care of this by using this CB now again so uh, again there's a, there are some equations to find CB before that uh, this is strength reduction factor value of value is 0.9 or 1 CB how to find it we will discuss before yes and um, here so this equation this equation will take care of the wave cylinderness that means if our wave is long and thin or no 
it will take care of this. H means the height of the wave, T W means the wave thickness. If the ratio is less than this, then it's good. It's good mean C B is one, V V is one. That means if this condition satisfies my C B and V V both are one. So C B P B both will be one if this condition satisfies. Now good news is that most of the section in your AISC manual satisfies this. Uh, this sentence will tell you. Uh, most I shaped okay right here. Most I shaped members meet the criteria in equation 620. 620 with this equation except for the following shape. So this shape they do not uh, satisfy this. Every every other shape satisfies this. So to uh, and how to find it in your AIC manual? The second this sentence will tell you. If a section does not satisfy, there will be superscript of B. It means this is not satisfied. So if I find uh, this section in your AIC manual, for example, if I find this one. So now what I am doing, I am taking your AISC still, des still design manual and I opened chapter 1. It is a 15th edition of the manual, page number 1-12. Uh, that means the first page of table on dash on in that table I see that for W 40 uh, 149 there is a superscript V yes I I, I I found it in the ASC manual also you can open your ASC manual it is in chapter 1 table 1 dash 1 in the first phase uh, in the ASC manual 15th edition page number 1-12 first page of the table 1-1 one one. you will find this section it has a superscript of V so whenever there is a superscript of V that section is not uh, satisfying this condition that means for that section you cannot use these two values for this for those sections you have to find this value now how to find this that's another story we'll discuss but before that again if if you open your ASC manual and if you do not see any sub superscript B then you then you can assume that uh, it's CB and Phoebe both are one so that will make your life easy when you will design a beam for share uh, make sure take a section which doesn't have superscript V now if you need to use it for any reason how to find uh, this first of all if it doesn't satisfy your fee v is 0.9 so one problem is solved if your section does not satisfy this equation or in your AISC manual if your section has a superscript v then for that section fee v is 0.9 then what about cb yes cb you need to calculate it it takes time okay how these equations this equation in your book will tell you how to find it if this this ratio is less than this CB is one your life is simple if your H by TW ratio is in between this and this your CB can be calculated using this equation if your H by TW ratio is more than this, you can calculate your CB using this equation. So you have to check which conditions, uh, which condition is uh, suitable for you. Now here everything is known except KB. Except KB. How to find KB? You can see that here KB uh, is pi for an stiffened wave. Now this this portion is a little big. What happens if it is stiff end wave? So uh, this book did not tell clearly. Even I opened the ASC specification, they did not tell it clearly. But I discuss, uh, I discuss with uh, others, and I saw others books. Every time we use KB is 0.5, except for steam of a T section. If it is not, if it is T, then 1.2. For other section, we use 5. So for now you can use uh, um, 5 uh, unless the AIC specification clearly tells us. So now we will use KB's point uh, 5. Now you can then you can see 
if your section does not satisfy this equation you have to find pb and cb how to find pb pb is 0.9 if it satisfies then on if it doesn't satisfy 0.9 if it satisfies cb is on if it doesn't satisfy you have to come here to find it so based on your condition you might be here you might be here or you might be here wherever your case is you can find your cb so this is the way to find uh, cb now once you know if i go back to the equation so once you know your pv cb aw you will know it from your aisc steel design manual a4 you will know from chapter 2 of your steel design manual based on whatever section whatever material you are using then you can find the capacity of that section now if your actual shear force or actual factored shear force in your beam is less than this then your beam is uh, good so yeah when we design we design two way first we calculate our actual factored shear force and then take a section and find the capacity of that section then we compare is my trial section good or no other case uh, sometimes we do we do we design a beam for bending and after designing for bending we take the section for shear we check it that if my beam is good for bending is it good for shear also or no if it not go back change your section okay uh, in your book there are some examples these examples they will will clarify your knowledge uh, here what is selling determine the shear strength sorry design determine the design shear strength of the following sections using fy 50 ksi and uh, w shape and fy 30 ksi for c shape now so two uh, two types of section w and c support w is this w is this one and c is this one c means channel section okay number on w this section from aic manual table 1.1 we can find that for this section tw is 0.25 inch d is 15.7 inch this ratio we can find from the table 56.8 and then you can see this ratio is becoming uh, becoming more than this if i go go down so this portion yields 54 and this portion yields 56 that means uh, that equation is not satisfied as it is not satisfied my fib is 0.9 and my cb is not one at, at least is not one so again then we went to the uh, if i go back we went here to find which condition uh, sorry uh, then we went here which is our condition then we'll calculate so if i go back to my example yes then we found cb first we 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 found out our case which case we are so we found that our case is the first case and uh, this ratio this ratio is 59 and that is uh, 56 we found earlier 56 56.8 yes. that means our cb is on you still we are lucky we could find it yes then our capacity will be pb 0.6 apy aw cb pb we found uh, 0.9 apy is 50 ksi because it is a w section it is pro, uh, given in the problem uh, aw aw is uh, 0.25 how do i know aw 0.25 uh, we know oh no it's not aw is not 0.25 uh, ew is d times tw so d is 15.7 tw is 0.25 so they will multiply 15.7 is yes, here this whole part is aw this whole part is aw d times tw then cb is one this way we find the capacity of this beam 106 keep now if my um, shear stress in this beam is less than this or equal to this then we will say okay this section is good Similarly, they found other section W1850 from ASC manual. We found TW this, D this, and then for this, C. Now, for this, we can, this problem directly told that CB is on, 
PV is one. How they did? How they told it? Because they went to the manual and they did not find any superscript of V. If there is no superscript of V, CB, PV, both are one. That is something good news. Uh, so if you open for previous uh, example, uh, this example. Uh, if you go to the ASC manual for this section, you will find a um, superscript of B. That means it did not satisfy that condition. Okay, so they again similarly they find for a channel section. From the ASC manual, if you go there, uh, now here PB is 0.9. That means they did the similar calculation of this calculation, whatever you, you saw there. Yeah. I think that should not be a problem. It is uh, like very, very clear cut. Uh, again, to revise how to find uh, share strength or share design. Uh, for share, this is our design e equation. We have to find phi b, c b. If any section in your ASC manual does not have superscript v, then this one and this one both are one. Then your life will be easy. If it is not hard to do, again, if it is not clear cut is that PB is 0.9 then how to find CB here is our here is our case uh, so we will find based on a condition this condition or this condition or this condition we will find our uh, CB okay well I will stop here okay now let me check before stopping is there any other um, example in your book no there is no other example in your book so in, again this example is uh, good enough to understand uh, shared design thank you